Inside this unassuming building is one of the cheapest apartments you can buy anywhere in New York City. Do the bikes come with the place? They do not come with the place, but you can put your bikes there. Is this stuff custom? It's custom. The building itself has a lot of character. Working fireplace? Um... Only one way to find out. Working laundry? Absolutely. And it's got a brand new kitchen. Dual home office, little shelf for plants, and it's a real one bedroom, not a studio. Not only could you run a pyramid scheme from this position, you can break out your inner nerd while it works for you. And we're here to find out why owning this place is gonna cost you about the same amount as renting in the exact same neighborhood, and if it's a good idea to do that, or give your money to a slumlord. The other super underrated feature of this apartment is that the train is like two blocks away, it's the B and the C, and over yonder we have Central Park. Beautiful neighborhood, everything here is old and cool looking. It's like living in a movie. Look at these buildings. Such a pretty neighborhood. Although some of these places look a bit dungeony and being close to the train on a day like today i think that's a major plus especially if you went somewhere to like buy something and now you're trying to come home or if you're just getting to work convenience is key speaking of convenience look we got coffee right here on the corner the corner of columbus avenue this is where the cool kids be hanging out you got jewelry you got restaurants maybe even too many restaurants this is like a crawl but you're not gonna move here if that's not something you care about two boots pizza the outpost the the apartment is one block that direction. And look at that, we got city bikes right there if you need one. Candy on the corner, it's definitely a candy store. See, got that adult candy right here. 375, that was too much. But everyone I know who lives up here is absolutely in love with the neighborhood because there's so much to do. Every street corner has something you'd be interested in. Like this wine bar, Vince. This isn't Warby Parker, but they look like Warby Parker. Maybe not. Ice cream, pharmacy, four other places. Get yourself that hair up in here. And this is still the same block as the apartment. You can keep going this way. And the restaurants and the fun just keeps happening. And speaking of fun, we have Henzo Gracie Jiu Jitsu, where they teach you how to have fun with your enemies before they go unconscious. Now the street itself is incredibly charming. And this is what it's gonna look like outside your front door. Laundry, small cafe, and there's a little clean and we're back to this environment with the cool buildings. Which one is ours? Here it is, this is gonna be cool. I personally like an unsuspecting building and inside here there's a brand new renovated one bedroom apartment. It's a sale. It's like the cheapest place you can buy in New York right now. All right, Ilya, let's do it. Yo, let's go take a look. This is the cheapest thing you can buy? This is the cheapest one bedroom that you can find monthly wise, maintenance wise, absolutely. You miss 100% of the shots you don't take a Michael Scott original. I like the people that live here. We won't meet them, but they seem cool. What's the deal with this place? What's it cost? Uh, 720,000, maintenance $677. Okay. It's a one bedroom, one bath. How many square feet? It's a co-op, so I can't say. Is that because since it's a co-op, you're getting shares? Yes. Ah, so okay. Owning shares of a corporation, you're not actually it's, owning real property, it's a little complicated. But we're gonna tour it and measure it. Do the bikes come with the place? They do not come with the place, but you can put your bikes there. Working fireplace? Um, Maybe? Maybe. Only one way to find out. Working laundry? Absolutely. And it's got a brand new kitchen. Dual home office. Is this stuff custom? It must be, because the building's old. It's custom. They brought it and um, the building itself has a lot of character, but also, that is awesome. So it seems like a great first time uh, home purchase because that low maintenance isn't gonna screw you over like so many places where you're paying thousands of dollars to like some board, right? Absolutely, and also that makes it possible to sell it down the road quite easily. Dude, it feels like a little house. Like you walk in, you've got an actual, what is this, a foyer? A foyer? This is a nice little foyer. Storage is great, closets are big. Ooh, that's a New York closet right there. It looks like a walk-in, actually. Are you six feet tall yet, Ilya? Can you reach the overhead? I'm working on my height, and I can get a little bit <laughs> above it, yes. Nice. Yes. Look at that. I love this shelf. Look at this. You can put your keys. You got all your stuff. 
You get your Altoids, so your breath smells fantastic in front of the people you'll meet on the street. It's very important. And when you come home. What is this over here? This is another closet. Oh, so we got two closets. Two closets. This one's like a little pantry. That's okay. You gotta pant your stuff. This opens. Does this open or does it hit the lamp? Oh, look it at opens. that. And it doesn't cl it doesn't hit. Yep. All of the lighting in this apartment is added on. And as we're gonna see, the whole place has like a classy feel to it. What's also kind of nifty is you can kind of see like the old details in the walls because it's not a modern apartment. But if it were a modern apartment, it wouldn't have a separate bedroom, it would be a studio. Look at that full-size tub. It looks like a bright bathroom. It's bright, it's gotten a recent renovation. This is new here, this cabinet. The cabinet is new, a couple years old. And then medicine cabinet. Oh, look at that, fully stocked. How's the water, looking good. So the living room here, 10 by 13, this is pretty good. Fits everything you need. It fits more than what you need. There's like two bikes on the wall. I think that's just like so incredible and that's functional too. Plus if that wall was empty, like this place would look boring, but obviously it doesn't. What do we got going on over here? We have dual offices in the corner here. So if you are working from home, you and your partner or anyone could be using both, uh, both monitors, both places, and you have nice windows to go take a look at a nice, beautiful street. Even if, a person watching this video can't buy this apartment. I think you could get some great ideas. Like this table that makes these two offices, it's like two feet wide, but the length is there. And this is a great way to get like a minimalist desk setup. I just don't know if you need the robot vacuum. They are nice, but I mean, if you're here working from home, you could probably clean up after yourself. I also think that robot vacuums are the new bread makers that you give to people when they get a new apartment to make them feel happy and that you care about them. And then they sit here unused. Oh, and look at this. We've got a retro gamer living here. I love these people. I wish I could be their friend. They've got the sound system with the turntable right here. And this just goes to show you, you can get so much out of a little apartment in New York. If you decide not to live like a hoarder. I like this. I don't feel like we're in too cramped of a place. The TV is across from us. And this 10 foot distance, this is enough for watching movies without going blind. It's absolutely, we have a nice brick wall behind, so it's got the nice warm feel, and it's got that Upper West Side charm. Speaking of charm, I absolutely love the bookshelf that we have here. This is just such a great thing, and even if you're not really a reader, you can put other stuff in this. You can make it like a pantry for the kitchen. I think it looks pretty good as a bookshelf. I just love how they use the space really well, and it doesn't feel cluttered at all. Enough room for everything. This is a hallway kitchen, but I think it might be the best one anywhere in the city. We have a hallway here, so you actually are away from everything that's in the living room, in the bedroom. You have a washer dryer here that is using, uh, dries and washes, and new appliances. Ilya, I've heard that a lot of places, if you buy it and it doesn't have a washer and dryer, maybe the people that run the building won't let you put it in? So they won't because in co-ops, sometimes the rules will not allow that. And this one is already in, you have nothing to worry about. Also, the Panasonic microwave has 950 watts of power, which means your TV hungry man dinners will be hotter than they've ever been. You know, it also has an oven. Oh, yeah, I don't know how that works. But look at this, we have a little vent with a little light. I'm learning as I go here. What's that? It's a dishwasher. Really? Look Full. at that. Water pressure. Money. Solid. Money. This is something uh, you should wear. I should wear this? No, this is something that you can also plant more stuff here and more uh, plates and cups and- How do you tie this? You tie, it, tie the back? Tie the back. Like this? How like, do I look? You look good. I look good? You look, look right. Like I'm ready to open the fridge? You look like you're ready to open the fridge or- It's a nice fridge, man. Or use the oven, actually. And look, I can actually reach pretty much everything here even though I'm- At first, this looks like, hey, it's just a bedroom, but 12 by eight is what I got when I measured it, and that's a queen bed. I am not necessarily sure you're gonna get a king in here. And that's okay, it's a New York apartment. Now this under the bed, this is the ultimate life hack in New York. Get a frame that goes up enough so that you can put things underneath it. That way your room is a lot less cluttered. And with that chandelier up there, it just really has an elegance to it that wouldn't be there otherwise. Look at that. Another legitimate walk-in closet. What do you think about this place for a one bedroom? Is this more or less storage than I should expect? What do you think? This is more storage than you usually get. And I honestly say the rest of the apartment being separate and when you see living room, 
Separation, you have storage, you have places to put everything, you have office space here. Call me. Ilya's info's right here. Good stuff, man. Thanks, Cash. See you in the next video.